I've lost over 45 pounds without crazy exercise, without cutting calories, nor cutting carbs. I was eating all the time over 3000 calories, mainly from bananas, white potatoes and rice. And walking was my, and still is, <laughs> my mainly a form of movement. Yes, indulging all the time in those high carb, low fat, whole foods. More about this later, because the topic of this video is cutting down calories and the effect, the negative effect that uh, restricting calories can have on our <laughs> cognitive functions when our brain, when our judgment, <laughs> because yes, can impair a lot of um, the things we praise in our society. Logic, judgment, reasoning, uh, making good decisions, all this can be drastically decreased when you cut calories. And I will illustrate uh, this concept with a story from my past dieting. Yes, because I was like this in my 20s in a roller coaster of cutting down calories, moving more, eat less and lose some pounds only to crave binge and gain back all that weight. Uh, so yes, a little bit later we will dive deep into this topic. I am Janina Vlad, the founder of LeanOnCarbs.com. My mission over here is to help you adopt sustainably this lifestyle that helped me so much to beat cravings. This is uh, my major battle. Uh, yes, I lean down and this is great because I, I've lost weight without that hunger, without uh, gaining back uh, the weight, but um, ditching all those binges and the cravings is like having gold in your life. It's like living heaven on earth. Yes, and that's why I'm here with my channel, with my business to help you, yes, get healthy, get lean and beat the hunger because there is a better way to lean down and get healthy other than that. That it's not even a weight loss solution. It's actually promoter of fat gain on our body. Okay, now to that story. In my 20s, I was into eat less, move more because I wanted to be skinny, of course, and I didn't know better. And in one of these diets, uh, was not even that crazy, in between 1200 calories and 1800 calories, I had to adopt cheat meals because I couldn't, I couldn't without that. The food obsession becomes, became so great and the hunger so monumental, I had to have those cheat, uh, cheat meals. They kept me on that line of uh, sustaining that level of restriction. So I was counting the days until the cheat meal came and after, of course, just after the beginning of having cheat, uh, cheat meals, I realized it's not uh, possible for me to do it only with that cheat, uh, cheat meal. So I prolonged it at cheat days. And I had cheat days, all day of eating, over 10,000 calories a day. I was non-stop thinking about food. Maybe you can relate to that. Uh, and the more I indulged, the, of course, guilty I felt, and the less satisfying I feel with that uh, calories, with those meals. But shortly I understood, because I was also in between jobs, jobs, and I understood that it's not um, cost effective for my wallet to continue like that, I start baking at home. And not long after that, that food didn't satisfy me because uh, my level of baking wasn't great, let's say like that, and I was craving more food, more decadent food, like uh, the pastry that it's uh, crafted by an artisan. So I was craving a lot of um, pies with cheese and oh, a lot of animal products. I was, I was craving ham and other animal uh, fatty foods. And this comes the, the craziest things I did in my life. And this comes the stupid thing I did because I was not judging well. And this is, by the way, mostly kept secret. Only my husband knows knows it from my family and a few other 
people outside of my family because they had to know it. You will see why in a moment. But yes, I've started eating in supermarkets. Do you know those packages, empty packages you find in between products on the shelves in supermarkets? And maybe you sometimes uh, see those people eating something in the supermarket and after eating of course they don't want to pay and leave uh, hi try to hide those empty packages on the shelves well i was one of those people <sighs> yeah i'm not saying that <sighs> being on diet and restricting calories is the main culprit of it i decided yes to do those actions but what i'm about to tell you and you will see it is not my opinion it's a fact how cutting down calories <laughs> impair our judgment and increase our impulsivity and make us break laws and do criminal things like this and didn't stop that i didn't stop there so i've started eating in supermarkets for my cheat days and i said i was counting not the days the minutes until that day came and i had the uh traje trajectory in the city to the supermarkets I want to visit because I didn't want to stay in only one to be obvious and in a case they will um, catch me to be not that flagrant that huge of a deal just a few products so I had two three supermarkets in that day in a mind and walking in between shelves and uh, binging binging and not even not even enjoying that food because in my mind was the next food that I want to, to, to rob basically from the shelves and to binge in my face, in my mouth. I was doing this uh, walking in between shelves, eating and going out sometimes without even buying anything. And I did this for a while. And in one day, yes, I wasn't smarter than them. They caught me, they caught me. And i wish i can tell you that that stopped me but it didn't stop but they caught me and of course i had to pay not twice three times uh, the sum of the products the the cost of the products and i didn't have the money and can you imagine my embarrassment was my embarrassment when i had to make this call to ask a friend to come and rescue me to give me the money so I was mortified. I was even more embarrassed than in the moment they actually caught me and invited me in that uh, small room like a castle and uh, showed me on the camera the things I did. Uh, so was crazy. But I said I didn't stop there because I continued with my diet. And yes, with prolonged uh, calorie restriction is prolonged hunger and you can become even more impulsive and you can judge even worse and take even worse decisions and the uh, next worst decision i took i make decision i make yes i make i made and the next worst decision i made was to shoplift because i was like i said in between jobs and not enough money yes i had some money but i wanted to indulge in uh, more expensive products and um, better cheeses i was into mozzarella and parmesan and a lot of ham expensive ham and all those crafted pies and um, tarts and cakes and tiramisu oh and a lot of uh, Italian, like you, you can tell a lot of these uh, high intensity foods that are, of course, I are high in a rich taste. So I started shoplift for groceries. And that went for a while, a few these days of cheat, uh, cheat days, until they caught me again. And in that day, can you imagine what I had in my bag? Because at the beginning, I went there only to uh, shoplift some and to pay for some. But as they didn't caught, didn't catch me, my confidence increased. And I said, oh, that's great. 
they don't have hidden cameras so i was watching for the main cameras and because uh i could escape with that uh, criminal act gave me uh, more confidence in do doing it in a bigger style so more products uh basically stealing more more products more food and uh, at, at the last in the last uh, days of uh, shoplifting i was only shoplifting without paying so all the products went in my bag i was watch i was walking with um, uh, with a basket in between shelves and waiting for the next moment where when there there wasn't uh, anybody around uh, customers were um, from security and i was putting inside the content of the basket in my bag and in the last time when i did it um, they invited me at the exit to come with them in that small room this was other supermarket than the one the the one that i was caught eating and i was again petrified i was i cannot i cannot tell you how not guilty and not ashamed but basically mortified that they caught me uh, me uh, that i am uh, the best to burglar in the world they caught me when how they saw me where are those cameras oh my god but oh that will sound so crazy can you imagine what i had in my bag when they asked me to empty the bag on the table in that small room a bunch of parsley some potatoes a bag of pasta a bottle of olive oil some cheese some ham but most importantly that bunch of parsley i was shoplifting all the content of the basket because i didn't want to pass to the cashier to pay wasn't about the money for that parsley in my mind was not judging anything not not reasoning any of these uh, decisions i made no no no. let's put the parsley in the bag as well can you imagine their faces when they see the content of my bag when they seen four potatoes that uh, uh, bag of pasta olive oil but most importantly the parsley a parsley that it's uh, 50 cents <sighs> they pity me of course they were shocked and uh, they couldn't understand how somebody can shoplift parsley yes i was that confused and uh, judging that bad yes of course i had to pay i had the money because it wasn't <laughs> not even 20 bucks so oh, i had the money and they of course multiplied by three and they didn't give him give they didn't give me uh the ticket so the money went in their pockets uh, it's not my problem <laughs> my problem are my acts only my acts and yes i'm not saying that all the people who's restricting prolonged for uh, i had i was in that diet uh, around six not six eight eight to ten ten weeks less than three months i was on that diet i'm not saying that all the people who restrict calories are committing criminal acts like the like the ones i i did but when you cut calories the chances to commit stupid things to uh engage in risky behaviors risky and yes stupid behaviors like this increases so yes because we are more <laughs> um we are more inclined to act on the urges of those impulses we don't control our impulses we uh, uh the impulsivity is exacerbated why when we cut calories we cut energy and supply of uh, actual fuel to our brain and because our brain is not that big of an organ but it takes up over 20 percent of our daily calories to function optimally when we uh, engage in uh, calorie restriction when we don't <laughs> provide enough fuel for our body and for our brain of course these brain functions are impaired why why is that 
because the majority of these uh, cognitive functions are located in the frontal on the frontal lobe uh, where the judgment resides and logic and reasoning and making good decisions and creativity so when you when we cut calories this frontal lobe is not um, required for our survival so that energy that few energy that goes in our body and in our uh, brain goes to the center that is responsible for our survival amygdala our primitive brain uh, guess who controls hunger and impulses so uh, our instincts hunger cravings appetite are controlled yes but by our primitive brain by our amygdala so in a direct fight for those nutrients for those carbohydrates for that glucose for the fuel frontal lobe will lose the fight because it's not required for our survival frontal lobe this that help us to make the best decisions in our life to be the most creative beings and to judge correctly to have the reasoning with us to be the best versions of ourselves to be humans so when we cut calories we are less humans and more uh, primitive uh, creatures and when you are primitive creatures and you are in survival mode especially after prolonged prolonged uh, dieting where the hunger is monumental so the hunger is increased of course the focus of the brain is get calories and because we don't have the frontal lobe that is in charge with making good decisions for those calories that's why we eat uh, we don't have the willpower uh, either we can eat not only bad foods that uh, are making us unhealthy and gain fat on our frame but also can make uh, us to take those calories in a criminal way in a not uh, honest way yeah breaking some rules and some norms of this society when we cut calories when we are in a deficit it's a deficit for the brain and who's losing like i said frontal lobe and the amygdala is focused to get more calories because those are not enough give me more calories give me more calories you are in debt after seven days a week six days a week of dieting and cutting calories below 2000 calories and engaging in exercising so increasing the expenditure of the calories of course you are in a huge debt please give me food and for uh, its perspective if that food comes from uh, breaking laws and not paying for the for the calories who cares give me calories this is important to survive until the next meal and to until we pass the genes and we uh, assure that this species don't go extinct yes that is part of the reason i uh, ended up doing that stupid crazy risky things in my 20s therefore never cut calories i'm not saying you will do the same mistakes like i did but uh, maybe you can relate you had days when you didn't make the best decisions when you didn't reason when you didn't um, use your logic when the, you weren't the best person to be around when your irritability was increased because yes when we cut down calories increases our irritability our anxiety and our depression we have mood swings our mental distress increases and of course we have insomnia we cannot sleep properly and this is a snowball with less sleep and less calories you will perform even worse so if your purpose in life is to be your best self for your family for your kids for your partner for your co-workers in your job for all the people that work with you if you are a teacher <laughs> if you are a teacher especially if you work with kids you need patient and good judgment and making good decision and calm but when we cut calories we are the opposite of calm and patient we are more um ready to snap at people irritated and like i said stressed out and anxious and sad and depressed 
And yeah, we don't perform well. Our creativity decreases, like I said, when you, you cut the supply to the brain of this uh, fuel, that is carbohydrates, glucose is the only fuel of our brain cells. Don't ever forget. And where is the most glucose? Yes, in fruits, in sugary fruits, bananas. You will perform the best and your best when you are carved up, when you eat enough calories and those calories are coming the majority from this whole high carb foods. And not only that, you will lose weight because all these foods have this major um, benefit of fiber and water that will dilute the overall uh, calories in that meal. Yes, it's about calorie. You lose weight, minimizing your calorie intake, but never going in deficit. Because right now, you are like here, you need, let's say, 3,000 calories a day, and you are eating 4,000 calories a day because you are indulging in these high fat foods that are lacking fiber and water and because they have more fat than carbs uh, and a gram of, uh, of fat is 9 calories, a gram of carb is 4 calories. So you are indulging in foods that are high in calorie density. That means you not even eat to reach satiety and you will have a surplus of calories. With these foods that I'm promoting over here that are very high in carb, water and a fiber and low in fat, you will have with big volumes that will help you feel full to reach satiety, to stay away, of, stay away from cravings and hunger with fewer calories, just enough calories that we need for all our body functions and for all the brain functions, including the frontal lobe that we want our frontal lobe to be on our side. We want to feed this frontal lobe to make the best decisions our life to be the most creative, creative uh, beings, to judge correctly, uh, to use our logic, to control our impulses, to be calm. You understand? When you match your calorie needs with these foods that are, like I said, high carb, low fat, whole, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, starchy vegetables, so potatoes, white potatoes, nyame, yuca. When you focus on these five food groups and eat to reach satiety, at least 2,500 calories if you are a woman, at least 3,000 calories if you are a man, but if you are overweight and more overweight and obese, of course you will need more because you have more appetite. So follow your appetite, your hunger and the satiety. And if you focus on these foods, you will have, like I said, you remove all the excess of calories that comes in this standard high animal products, high processed foods, high plant foods diet. You remove the excess and you will lose weight. It's about calorie, but you don't have to eat and enter in deficit. When you enter in deficit, you actually train your body to become more efficient at using those calories. So you slow down your metabolism long term, you will gain more. In a decade of this kind of approach to lose weight, you will be more overweight and more overweight and of course sicker. And not to mention being there, like I said, you won't think clearly. You won't be your best self in your job. You, you won't be and you will have the highest income you can have because you won't be your best creative self. And that was my video for today. I hope Right now you have it um, a bit more clear, this topic. Of course, I will uh, create even more uh, videos like this because I have more stories to share. Yeah, unfortunately, that wasn't the first time I was stealing from supermarkets, shoplifting. I have another story and that uh, was a year or two prior to that moment. And yes, more about uh, how this restrictive diets work against us and make us do criminal things and not be the best people to be around. Okay, like it, share your comments, share your uh, constructive criticism, uh, share uh, what your experience is if you related with uh, something that I mentioned in this video. Uh, yes, subscribe for more. Please go to watch my other videos I already created with this diet if you want to yeah, lean down without hunger, without craving, without cutting down calories nor carbs. And until the next time, please watch this video.